Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? I am super excited because I have a swatch video for y'all with the Strawberry Moon and Flower Moon palettes from Ensley Rain Cosmetics. And these are not new palettes per se in terms of they were available from the brand previously, but they are updated, they are restocked, there are things that have been changed, so I will be going over the changes with you, and I just thought that we could do a swatch party. And we're also going to be playing with the Twisted Tea Party palette from Ensley Rain. I'm kind of adding this, this palette in after the fact because I just received this in the mail and I already edited and uploaded this entire video and I was like, wait, no, let me throw this one in as well so we can swatch this out at the end. As of right now, as I'm filming this, these are still available on the website. So if you're interested in either, I do have an affiliate code with Ensley Rain Cosmetics. It's just Amy Loves and it saves you, I believe 10% off their website. Let me tell you about everything that is new. Both palettes now have a magnetic base, they have removable pans, and they also have a built-in mirror, which you can see right there, little mirror. Um, they also have updated shades. They said they listen to feedback from their customers. They have unique, distinct shades in each palette, and they eliminated any color overlaps, which is really nice. I did not own the previous versions of either of these palettes. The first palette I ever tried from NZ Rain was their Land of Enchantment, so this is my first dip into these, but if I see anyone who owned them previously and is comparing them to the new ones, I will definitely make sure to share their video in the comment section for y'all. They also said that it comes in protective packaging and it's now the same custom durable packaging as Cold Moon and Harvest Moon. I don't own those, but uh, from what I understand, this is more durable than what it used to be, so lots of updates. Let's look at them. Let's start swatching. So we have Strawberry Moon here, which the packaging is so cute. Look how pretty. We've got lots of color happening here. I've heard from a lot of you that you love both of these palettes. So I'm really excited to try them for myself. And then the Flower Moon palette looks like a little more like gray, purple, grungy vibes. And the color story in here is kind of a mixture of some greens and some purples. It almost reminds me of like a smaller version of their new Groovy Garden palette. I feel like this is similar, but these purples all look so pretty. Oh, I can't even decide which to swatch first. I'll just swatch Strawberry Moon first since I show that to you first, but they both look stunning. So starting off with the shade Oasis, looks like a really beautiful multi-chrome, you've got some purple, some blue, some green, definitely very silky texture. We've got Litha. I don't know why I always wanna describe that shade as like an 80s kind of teal, like I just think of like 80s exercise outfits and whatnot. And then we've got the shade Eden, which is another very silky shadow. This one looks a little bit more sparkly and it's kind of like this turquoise green flip. Ooh, that's so pretty. Okay, I like it, I like it. I probably should have started further up. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to swatch the whole palette together on one arm, but that's okay. And then here's what that shade looks like with a mirror. You can see that first shade, definitely a very strong multi-chrome. Next we have the shade Lagoon, which looks like a turquoise, just really pretty bright matte. We've got Pool Party, ooh, which looks like a purple base and a blue flip to it. And then we've got the shade Awaken, which is a little bit of a deeper, kind of peacocky turquoise matte. Okay, that shade is like sticking to my finger a lot. But there we go. And then maybe you can see that just like slight, slight shift in that second to last shade. It's subtle, but it's there. Next we have the shade Summer Solstice, which looks like the most beautiful like purple blue tone, but it's a little bit lighter and it has like this periwinkle shift to it, just stunning. We've got the shade Poppy. Oh wow, that is gorgeous. It's like this soft peach with a green reflect and it feels so soft and so silky at the same time. Like it feels like a cream shadow, but it's not moving quite as much as a cream shadow would. 
that's really pretty. And then we've got Sunkissed, which is a very pale, soft yellow matte. Oh, I love that shade. I know it looks subtle, but I'm telling you, it is so beautiful in person. I think I'm actually gonna build up that yellow just a little bit for you. I feel like the mirror isn't even doing that shade justice. Like the green flip is so strong. Oh my goodness. Okay, next we have the shade Radiant, which looks like kind of like a marigold yellow matte. It feels super creamy to the touch. We've got Golden Glow. It's a really pretty gold. It's got sparkles to it and kind of like a little like greeny gold flip. Okay, it's not that often that I'm like, wow, that is a beautiful gold, but that is stunning. Like, I feel like if Natasha Nona came out with a gold toy 2.0, this shade would be in it kind of vibes. And then we've got Peruvian Lily, which is an antique gold. Definitely more of that like vintage -y, super warm kind of shade. Okay. So pretty. Oh my gosh, that's a really long swatch. <laughs> so there's that first half of the palette. I'm gonna wash this off and then I'll be right back. Okay, next we have the shade Rose Moon, which looks like, oh wow, such a pretty multi-chrome. Again, very sparkly, very silky. It's got like, it looks like glitter, but it doesn't feel like glitter in it. And then it's kind of like this golden rusty base with a fuchsia flip to it so cute lunar glow another multi-chrome we've got lavender and green and pink and gold like that is just stunning truly like oh, i wish i could bathe in that shade kind of stunning and then here we've got mont bretia mont bretia i feel like i'm not saying that right so this looks to be a duochrome and it's kind of the same vibes as poppy where it's like a peach with a golden green flip but this is a much brighter peach just very warm and just like so summery wow oh my goodness so pretty look at that look at that shift So beautiful. Okay, and then finishing off this palette, we've got a bunch of mattes. We've got Snapdragon, which looks like a pretty true kind of like peachy pink, feels very creamy to the touch. Summer Love makes me want to start singing Grease, which is kind of like a muted, like corally red. Strawberry Moon, which is a bright, hot pink that one does feel just a touch drier to the touch i wouldn't describe it as dry but i'm just describing it as dry compared to the other mattes if that makes sense okay we've got ranunculus which looks like kind of like a pinky purple fuchsia-esque shade again doesn't feel quite as creamy as some of the other mattes Zinnia, this one feels creamy. It's a really pretty purple, just slightly less pink than the previous. And then lastly, we have the shade Butterfly Bush, which is like a really pretty eggplant kind of purple, I would say. Which honestly, this is random, but is anyone else terrified of butterfly gardens? Like, I've been to so many places that had them and I've never had the courage to walk in. They just kind of freak me out. But <laughs> anyways, there's what the rest of the palette looks like. Super, super cute. I will say overall, I feel like this is not necessarily like the most me color story, but there is a lot of pieces in here that I really love. The shade Lunar Glow, Poppy, Montbridia, this gold right here, like all beautiful. Okay, now we have the Flower Moon palette, which oh, I just love the packaging on this one so much. Just truly so pretty. Okay, so 
and there's so many shimmers in this palette like I, I love the way this one is organized I feel like between the two this is definitely gonna end up being my favorite especially all the purple and green it's just it's so cute so we've got the shade bloom which is a gold very sparkly shade and I will say that this one is a little more textured feels like a little less like super silky to the touch than the previous palette but you can see it's got like a peachy base and this golden green flip very very pretty we've got pink moon oh again feels so creamy and just sparkly it's like this purple green kind of rose gold flipping shadow and then we've got freesia which looks like kind of like a rusty base with a little bit of a golden shift to it. Definitely a little bit more tame compared to everything else happening in here. Oh my goodness. So pretty. Oh my goodness, okay. I think I know which set of swatches is gonna be my thumbnail. Look at that. Stunning. Here's the mirror. You can definitely see the purple in that middle shade a little bit better. Next, we've got the shade Flower Moon, which the palette was named after. Oh my goodness, that is stunning. Lavender, like silver, green, pink. Oh, just beautiful. Persephone, which is a soft kind of blue purple shade. This one doesn't feel like as intense. It feels a little bit more soft, a little more subtle, but it does have a pretty shift to it. And then we've got the shade Dahlia. Ooh, that one feels very silky. Just like a fuchsia pink base with a purple shift. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Okay. It's funny because I feel like nowadays, like when people are like, oh, like makeup doesn't actually make you gasp or like make you like really excited. I don't know how anyone could see multi-chromes like this in person and not gasp. And then there's with the mirror. Next we have the shade April Showers, which is such a cute name. Feels very silky and it's another like kind of like bluey base with a purple shift, but this one's a little more pastel and it just feels very intense. And then moving into some greens, we've got the shade Refresh. Ooh, which is like a grungy brown base and a golden shift like Natasha and Lime Chrome vibes, but definitely a little more intense, a little bit more opaque. We've got Primrose. Okay, this looks like just a true metallic shadow. Doesn't have any shifts or anything to it. It's like a, like a soft lime green-esque shade. Shiny, but not sparkly and not shifty, just a green, pretty in itself. Okay. Shout out to my camera for going out of focus. <laughs> Next we have the shade Bliss, which is a very, very intense green base and like a turquoisey blue shift. Feels very thick and sparkly. We've got Forsythia, which is another green. This one's like a little bit deeper and a little bit more sparkly than the previous one. We've got Awakening. Ooh, that's so pretty. The texture on that one is much softer, but it has a green and purple shift to it. Wow, that is intense, truly. Okay, that last one I feel like you can't see as much, but it's really pretty. Okay, we just have two more shimmers, so let me grab those real quick before I show you the mirror again. We've got Sarling which is another very intense shade, but this one feels like cream. Like when you stick your finger in, you can move it around. Like definitely a very gel type shadow and it's got a pinky base and a purpley blue shift. And then we've got Sprout, which is kind of like a deep rusty shade with a golden shift. I feel like it's a little harder to show the shift further up on the arm like this. So pretty. Truly all the shimmers in here are stunning. So now let's finish off with the mattes. We've got the shade Lush, which looks like just a really pretty kind of chartreuse matte shade. We've got Rejuvenate, which is a 
kind of bright orange peony just looks like a soft kind of like salmony peach I definitely have sparkles all over my arm at this point but don't mind me and also my arm is getting a little dried out so the swatches might not be as smooth as they feel Personally, that's just what happens when I swatch a bunch of things over and over again on my arm. Wild, no, sorry, Mayflowers. <laughs> I almost said Wildflowers, which is like a really pretty kind of mid-tone mauve matte. We've got Meadow. Ooh, it's a like pretty kind of yellow tone, crunchy green matte. Budding, it's like a true deep green. And then we may as well just finish off the last shade. We've got Renew, which looks like a deep, kind of brown eggplant shade. This is so fun. Pinky swatches are never it, but it's okay. You can still see the color. Love this color story, love, love, love. So like I said, this is the Twisted Tea Party palette. Love the packaging on this, it looks so cool. You even got the Cheshire Cat here and it says we're all mad here. I think this is my favorite packaging they have just because I love Alice in Wonderland and then the color story is a little bit more grungy some really pretty shimmers happening here I don't think that this palette is revamped or anything I think maybe they just included it with my package I'm not I'm not exactly 100% sure so we've got the shade chasing rabbits ooh, which is a really pretty multi-chrome it's got some purple some green some gold some silver Mind Melt, which is another multi-chrome. More like a periwinkle silver with a green and gold shift happening. And then we've got the shade Amanita Mustadia. Mustadia? Ooh, okay, that's just like a very traditional multi-chrome. You've got pink, gold, green, orange. I feel like if you have a lot of indie products, you probably already have a multi-chrome like that, so it doesn't really stand out but it does feel silky, it's shiny, like it's, it is beautiful nonetheless. And then we've got a pink bright matte here which is called Hypnotic, feels very creamy. Ooh, very pretty. Okay, and then there you can see the shifts much better. Okay, next we have the shade Teacup, which is a grungy, kind of like yellowy green matte. We've got Distorted Dream, which is a very chunky shimmer. And it looks to be a bright green with some gold and pink reflex through it, but you can see definitely a little bit more textured, not as silky. We've got Cheshire's Secrets which I would describe as like a Barney purple matte. And then we've got Rabbit, which is a black. Ooh, a black matte and it's very pigmented, very intense. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Wow. Oh, well, the black kind of just took over the purple. Ah, I don't know what happened there. And then there's with the here. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna do eight swatches at a time just because it's easier to see the shifts when I'm keeping it more towards this part of my arm. There's the first half of the palette. Next we have the shade Muchness, which looks like, oh yeah, it's another multi-chrome. That one is extremely silky. And it's kind of a typical like blue, green, gold shifting shadow. We've got Hysterical Hatter, which is another more chunky shade. It's like this really pretty kind of lime green with a, like a little bit of a darker green base. And then we've got Delirious Dormouse, which is kind of like a lavender gray type of matte. Looking Glass, which is I wanna say a cerulean blue, is that cor the correct name for that? Kind of a sky blue, but not quite. Ooh, look at that. Okay. 
can really, really see the shifts there. And then lastly, we've got Surreal, which looks to be kind of just a soft, like tangerine orange drink me, which is a light purple with like a little bit of a golden shade to it, but definitely more on the subtle side versus all the other shimmers. We've got Elixir, which is very creamy, a little bit more of a thin texture, and it's got a blue green purple kind of shift going on. I really like that one. And then we've got Bonkers, <laughs> which looks like a indigo shimmer with sparkles through it. Possibly, possibly a little bit holographic. And there's the mirror. You can see those ones aren't quite as shifty. But that is the Twisted Tea Party palette. Let's go back into the original outro. Alrighty, y'all. So that was the revamped Flower Moon and Strawberry Moon palettes. I really hope that you enjoyed this swatch party. Let me know if you have any questions down below. And I will see you again very soon. Bye!